Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we all know that the Disneyland Resort happens to be one of the most magical places on Earth and the happiest place on Earth. But the only way we can really get the most magic out of it is if you plan everything out. So I'm gonna make this video just so you guys can have a really pretty good idea on how to plan your first time ever going to Disneyland. And it's actually one of my favorite things to do. I always have family members that come down to California to see me and we always go to Disneyland. I really like getting the most magic out of it just to see what the reaction would be like on their first day. So here's some things to do when you're planning your first day at the Disneyland Resort. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Disneyland app on your phone. Basically, it's going to be your tool to have throughout the whole day. On there, you can do anything. You can buy your tickets. Now you can buy your annual passes and you can also order food as well. So you don't have to wait in the long lines for food, which is a really good thing. Nor do you have to wait in the long lines to actually buy a ticket. You can do it all through your phone. And we'll go through that later in the next video. Actually, that I'm gonna do, it's gonna be all about the app. So you can kind of have a good idea of what you're gonna be looking at all day. And it's gonna basically give you all the information that you're gonna need. It's very helpful to have just when you are looking for some downtime because it also has a fast passes on there so it'll give you like reminders and say like hey you know this is a fast pass for this time and it can give you like other things to do second thing you're gonna want to do is get to the parks way earlier usually for the summer hours you're looking at 8 a.m. to midnight so what you're gonna want to do is make sure that you get there at least 45 minutes beforehand Disney always does a really good job of trying to make sure that everybody gets like through the line quick enough like especially when you're dealing with like security you have to deal with the trams it does go by pretty fast it can look like it's a little bit hectic just because there are a lot of people at one time but it actually does go by pretty fast so what you're also going to want to do is when you get there is make sure you have everything ready to go when you go through security make sure all the bags are open make sure everything is just ready to be checked because these are the kind of things that they're going to look for they're going to look in your bag and you know they're going to have to go through the metal detector and that kind of regular stuff so just have everything ready don't leave anything loose don't you know, before you go into the line, make sure you got everything out of your car. Make sure you leave everything you don't need in your car so you don't have to go back and put it in there. And you can just be ready to go. Downtown Disney actually opens usually at 7 a.m. So usually all that stuff is open. Not everything will be open there, but it is ready to receive guests at that time. So if the park opens at 8, you can go in as early as 7 o'clock and that would be a good time, you know, just to kind of walk around, kind of make a list of things that you want to do that day because everybody's going to want to have, you know, their own thing that they want to do. You know, I want to go on Haunted Mansion. I want to go on Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, there's all kinds of things to do and you want to make sure that you kind of get that ready before you even go inside. It just gets you like ready. You get excited. The music is already on and sometimes people just wait outside the gates. I mean, I'm probably one of those people that just likes to wait outside the gate and just have that full excitement ready to go inside and that's also part of the magic as well it's a pretty good idea just to get there early and also it's less hectic when you're trying to go in all at the same time the third thing you're gonna want to do is right when you enter Disneyland Park specifically you're gonna want to walk in and go through the left entrance that's going to be the left side right here it's where probably where the train station starts because there's a huge train station in the front you want to go to the left and you keep going in and that is where the Disneyland City Hall is right at the beginning of Main Street USA if you go in there they will give you a beautiful button that says first visit I'm celebrating happy birthday happy anniversary these these little like souvenirs that you can have that are free so you can just keep those memories with you and you don't have to pay for it which is really cool so I actually have some buttons from my previous trips to Disneyland I have the first visit button, which was really, really cute. It has Donald, Mickey, Pluto, Minnie, Daisy, which is the sass queen, my favorite, and Goofy. So yeah, so this is what the first visit button looks like. Also, I did go on my birthday, which was really, really cool. So I got this and they wrote my name on it and it's so cute. It has Mickey, who happens to be my favorite character. And he just says, happy birthday. Number four. So there is a lot of speculation as to where people want to start off when you're going to Disneyland, like what side that you're supposed to go to. A lot of people say, that 
a lot of people who haven't gone to Disneyland usually tend to go towards Tomorrowland and kind of work their way around. That was also a huge thing at Disney World at the Magic Kingdom Park. And some people say, oh, a better thing to do is just go through Adventureland to go this way so you can go see Indiana Jones, the Jungle Cruise, because they think like, okay, well, everyone's going this way, so we should just go the opposite way. Well, at Disneyland, it's actually a little different. A lot of people go straight for Fantasyland, and I think you should just go ahead and go as well. Like, I know, like, some people are like, oh no, like, let's go different from the crowd, like, it's gonna be too crowded, so we might as well just, you know, go where there's not gonna be any lines. Fantasyland happens to be my favorite land. I think it's just the start of the magic. It's the best way to start off your day, is to go and see these original stories, these movies that everyone has grown up with or maybe movies that people haven't grown up with but this is the legacy you know these are the original rides that were left from disneyland and that they've already took out of magic kingdom park so these are you know these are like basically like little gems that are still left from when walt disney was in the park which i think is really really cool so yeah First ride you're gonna want to get on is Peter Pan as soon as you get inside because that is going to be the longest line every single day. The, the 365 days that Disneyland is open, Peter Pan will always have more than a 30 minute line wait. So yeah, you're gonna want to go ahead and knock that out early in the morning. And number five. Usually I love to talk about food. So what I'm gonna say is I'm not really the type of person that likes to sit down and eat at Disneyland. That's just not really my thing. I don't really do the restaurants. But what I can say though is that the fast food service lines, the fast food service place, those are going to be your best friends. Uh, basically like any big thing that you could think of to eat would be a lot better than, you know, just, I, I'm a person that likes to snack, but sometimes it can get really expensive. It really doesn't click until later on in the day and you really realize, oh my God, I've spent a lot of money. So really kind of go for those fast food service that has the bigger meals, like the hamburgers, the uh, turkey legs, the chimichangas, like these things can really fill you up and can last you for a longer period of time. The best thing to do is probably get something a little bit bigger, but still kind of inexpensive and maybe even share. I don't share my turkey legs, which is totally fine. That's just me, but I mean, other people do, so why not? So those are my top five tips of visiting the Disneyland Resort. Uh, we're actually gonna make a video next week about part two and a lot of it is gonna be about the Disneyland app Which is again the probably the most important tool that you're gonna use. It's new age new technology It really does help out a lot So please like and subscribe so that we can go ahead and go watch the second video And you can kind of get a better feel of how your phone could literally save you a whole bunch of time and can put you way more at ease mentally when you're there at the resort and it can just add to the magic. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.